EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. When you have two great rushing attacks like these two teams have, we're going to spend a lot of time focusing on the running backs. But the heart, the soul, the guts of these two teams, the big hog mollies, the big fellas, the fat guys, the sloppy guys, who also, by the way, are said to be the smartest guys on the team. The offensive lines hold the key as to who can come out of the winner in this one. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Wisconsin in Madison. Camp Randall Stadium nestled between Lake Monona and Lake Mendota is our setting. It's time for the coin toss now presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Thompson is lined up to kick this one off, and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. Fielded at the 4, at the 30, and he's taken down at the 33. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. himself and picked up a good looking first down great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback from their own 44 yard line it's first down Brian left side they'll bring him down at the 47 to around the 38. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 38. A little counter, but he goes nowhere. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. And he is drilled at the 49. Lots of eight yards on the way. Marcus is going to try to kick this one deep. Let's see if he can get it inside the five. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. Nebraska's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Tackle made around the 21-yard line.
from their own 21 yard line. Second down. Pressured and brought down. The Cornhuskers always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. Tackles him hard at the 40-yard line. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. From the 40-yard line, first down. Gets it. He's in space. And they make the stop at the 25. Harper on the tackle at the 25-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Makes it to the 22-yard line. That makes it 37. And so it's another third down upcoming here. He's scrambling. <laughs> they fall on it. And down he goes. Right around the 18-yard line. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. Nebraska could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Time for a trip to the greater Chicagoland area. Action in Evanston. And for Washington, they've lost two in a row. Northwestern gets the W, 31-24. Reese, 3-0 here. Tucker, Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Well, the kicker made sure that no one had a shot at returning that one. Free kick, kick out, out of bounds. bounds. Kicking, kicking team. team. Seems like kicking off should not be such a hard thing to do. Still but we really down. do see this happen a lot. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Taken down in the backfield. That's a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. The Cornhuskers lead 3-0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. He's taken down around the 45-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. From their own 45-yard line, first down. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Pickup of a yard for the tailback. 
That brings up second and nine. Gets it out complete again to his tight end. And he's tackled at the 42-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 42-yard line. Makes it out to about the 33. That'll make it second and inches. Keep it on the ground again. Brought down at the 22. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. About four yards away here on second down. Watch 14, watch 14. Gives it left side. He makes it out to maybe the 16 yard line. This is the ninth play of this drive. There's a strike complete. Knocked out of bounds at the 11 yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 11 yard line. Nice run up the middle. That'll bring up second and three. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Four down, four down. Mike 15. Mike 15. Ready. Green 90. Green 90. Motion, motion. Check, check. Stand right. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. What a touchdown. He didn't see anyone open, so he just took it in himself. This quarterback is fearless, and the defense needs to either spy him or walk the safeties up when they've got the ball down near the goal line. And he adds the extra point. It was an 11-play, 66-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Wisconsin gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Got the corner. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. Both defenses really played well so far, Herbie. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Now he's scrambling. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. This is the time to open up your playbook and do something unpredictable. So I'm not sure what they're trying to accomplish right here. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 48. He's tackled at about the 41. Game of 11 on the play. First down. Hey, number eight's Cohen. Number eight's Mike. Mike. Hey, heavy on the edges. Heavy on the edges. He's out. He's on the run. <laughs> Mosley picks up about seven yards on the scramble. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Scramble. 
scrambling around. Tackle at the 30-yard line. That's good for a gain of four yards. First down. Ball, the ball, the ball, the ball, the ball. The ball. Dumps it complete over the middle. They'll bring him down around the 23-yard line. Hope picks up seven yards with that catch. Nebraska is going to have to use their second time out of the half. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He scrambled. Tackle made right around the 12-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. From the 12-yard line, it's second down. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That brings us third and ten. He's going to try and scramble. And they make the stop around the eight yard line. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks up, and he's got it. Points were very hard to come by in those first two quarters. They'll head to the locker room. 7-6, Badgers. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both of these defenses are opportunistic and very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively. How about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to, create, not to give away any tournaments. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. It's fielded at the two. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish, whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. they got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. hands on it and dropped it from their own 25 yard line second down tosses out to the tailback on the screen and down he goes at about the 39 yard line first down Check 
He's at midfield. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 46. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike is 59. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a game of five on the play. That brings him second and five. his way to the 33 yard line that makes it first and ten first down ten to go ball on the 33 quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts he has some room he gets out to about the 14 yard line first down We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 14-yard line. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. A little toss across the middle. Cook picks him up around seven yards with that catch. That'll make it second and four. Here's the eighth play of the series. The Cornhuskers, his quarterback, taken off earlier. Down on the sideline right now. Doesn't look like he's in that much pain, and I would bet that we'll see him back in the game before the day is over. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Taken down at the two. That's good for a gain of three yards. That makes it first and goal. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Touchdown, Nebraska! So they run the option to perfection for the score. It's a great job by the quarterback to read the defense. He made a nice pitch to the running back. Let him go in for six. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. He's got it for two. Nebraska lines up for the kickoff. And he'll return this one from the seventh. Well, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's out to the 30. Excellent open field tackle. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Lost the ball. It's recovered. And he's tackled at the 40-yard line. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. At 
to review the play, the rule on the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. He's scrambling. Diving for extra yardage. First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. The Cornhuskers linebacker came out of the game with an injury earlier, but he's warming up on the sideline. Looks like he'll be back in this one. Bryant picks up five with the carry. Second down, five to go. Ball on the 47. Nice run there. Hall picks up about four yards after keeping the ball on the option. Third down. Three-yard line. From the 33-yard line, first down. He's at the 20. Gets out to around the 18. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. it to the 15-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. From the 15-yard line, it's second down. Caught open field, and he's taken down at the 10. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 14-7, Nebraska. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Touchdown, Badgers! Big, big score, and it makes it a one-possession game, but we've still got a lot of football left. The extra point to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. So a nine-play, 75-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. We're deadlocked right now at 14. Jenkins looks ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 25-yard line. So here we are early in the fourth quarter in a tie ball game and a big, big possession coming up here. Nice run up the middle. That makes it 76. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. Got an opening. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Call it a gain of six yards. First down. Throws it in a hurry. 
And they pick up two yards. Once the wide receiver made the catch, he just kind of ran out of real estate. There was nowhere for him to go. From their own 38-yard line, second down. Here's the halfback on the screen. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 49. First down. He's into the open field. Makes it out to about the 43. That's a That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Three down, three down. Check 59, Mike. Mike. He gets hit out of bounds at the 35-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. ten. Makes it to the 27. Call it a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up second and three. This is the eighth play of this drive. Just under three to go in regulation. Zips it to the back. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. There's a player hurt. It doesn't look to be that bad. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. He's got the corner. He makes it to the 25-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. This is the 10th play of this drive. Slings it out there incomplete. The ball just sailed on him and he knows it. He'll get it next time. That makes it second and ten. From the 25 yard line, it's second down. Now he tries to buy some time. He'll take it himself. He's pushed out of bounds at the 16 yard line. This is the 12th play of this drive. Makes it to the eighth. You know, Brad, that's the second third down that they've been able to convert on this drive. And this offense right now has really showed a lot of poise and been able to hold on to the football and try to maintain this drive. First and goal as they look to take the lead. Touchdown, Cornhuskers.
They just didn't get the snap off in time. Here's the call. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Thompson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. It's fielded at the two. Brought down at the 18. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. A little over a minute in the game. Now he's scrambling. And down he goes at about the 33-yard line. Someone got a head start on the line. Ball start, start offense. offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still, Still first, first down. down. So the penalty makes it first and 15. Three down, three down. Watch the team. Watch the team. Here we go. Green 19. Green 19. Motion. Motion. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Got a man. Watch out here. And they make the stop around the 38-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Third and five. Ball on their own 38. Tackle made at about the 43-yard line. going to try and scramble. They'll bring him down at the 26. Slings it. They can't connect. Incomplete. From the 26-yard line, second down. Scrambling around, and he can't get away from the pressure. Loss of one on the play. Check, check. Check. Regular, regular, regular. He scrambled. Tackle around the 25-yard line. Call his own number on that one. I like the idea of trying to run here, but the defense really made him pay the price for trying to run. This could be it, fellas. It's fourth down. Three down, three down. Well, you never know what can happen in college football, so I wouldn't be surprised by anything here. Either way, it should be exciting. Can they pull it off? He almost had it, but it's incomplete. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. Nebraska is up by a touchdown. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 21-14, Cornhusker.
That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.